God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Wednesday, February 16th. Today's devotional, like yesterday's, is based on Psalm 41. Happy are those who consider the poor. The Lord delivers them in the day of trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. They are called happy in the land. You do not give them up to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed, and in their illness you heal all their infirmities. As for me, I said, O Lord, be gracious to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies wonder in malice when I will die and my name perish. And when they come to see me, they utter empty words, while their hearts gather mischief. When they go out, they tell it abroad. All who hate me whisper together about me. They imagine the worst for me. They think that a deadly thing has fastened on me, that I will not rise again from where I lie. Even my bosom friend in whom I trusted, who ate of my bread, has lifted the heel against me. But you, O Lord, be gracious to me, and raise me up that I may repay them. By this I know that you are pleased with me, because my enemy has not triumphed over me. But you have upheld me because of my integrity and set me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Dale Rosenberger. Despite the unlovingliness of the disheveled, the frequent ingratitude of the poor, the incorrigible circumstances of the lowly, the church will always be drawn to them. This is not because of our churning guilt or genteel discomfiture at their state, wanting to fix it. It is because we are but one step removed from being the lowly ourselves. More important, it is because our faith, fate is tied up with theirs. Psalm 41 reminds us that we are all in this together, the gift of life which God gives. And we're left with this to ponder. What qualifications do you consider when choosing how to use your resources for charity of those in need? let us pray. I cannot solve all of the world's problems, nor help everyone who asks me for help. But grant me wisdom to do what I can, when I can, for the right reasons. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy, that you're practicing social distancing, that you're washing your hands frequently, and when you're out in public, you're wearing a mask. God bless.